Well guys, it finally happened. I finally got one. Alright, after that little intro, you're probably going, God, what? Can't even tell what this thing is. Yeah, that's kind of intentional. But, I got a 4090 Founders Edition. Finally. Thanks to Mining King for, uh, he found some that were showing up and basically prompted me to look. So I started looking and I found a Founders Edition that was at a store and basically you can reserve it for a week. If you don't pick it up for a week, it goes back. It goes back into the general public and it, about midnight or so is when they get released. And if you're around when they get released and you catch it, you can be the first one to snap, snap one of these up. And that's what I did last night. A little bit of a problem with their system, but uh, on the second try, I was able to get it. So very, very happy. And thanks to Sunflower Mama for come, going to pick this up today. Very much appreciated getting some hive mapper miles into. So we'll have a little bit more on that later. Uh, I think I'll be putting in quite a few miles uh, before Monday. So I'll be curious to see what my rewards are on Thursday, but I will be documenting that. All right, back to the subject of this video. So before we actually open it up and do an unboxing and how it actually gets unboxed, I am a logistics guy, and so I was kind of geeking out on this. Um, so where does Best Buy get their GPUs from? They are not direct to NVIDIA. They go through DNH distribution. So that's where they get their GPUs from. Other businesses can open up an account with them, but they can't order these. There's only two places that I know of that can get uh, Founders Edition cards. That's Best Buy, and then there's a Navy like warehouse store or something like that. But you have to be in the military in order to have access to that. Those have been showing up, and they do last a little bit long. So if you have access to that, pay attention to that if you're looking for one of these, because those you can snap up much easier than the Best Buy ones, in my opinion. The other thing is I was kind of curious, okay, so how are they shipping this? So this over here is basically how it got to D&H, and so 134 out of 200. So this shipment, um, this particular box in the shipment was 134 of 200. But then how many did Best Buy get? They actually were box... 384 of 578 so there were a total of 578 in this order uh that best buy got and then on the top is actually going the ups shipment to the store and the actual shipping another shipping label to the store basically going to the, the best buy in geneva illinois oh that's not good it went upside down sorry guys um but uh Anyway, that's where we're at with that. So let's open this up, which I thought was pretty interesting. It's got a pull tab on both sides. So let me try doing this. Let's do it one-handed. Flop it over. I mean, you could have pulled it from either side, but I just told it to do. Let's do one consistent one from that side. And then... I'll try not to pull the DJ and have this thing flop over. Hold on one second. Let me get it on its back so that I could just do this and feel like I need like a ah! sound effect on this. So pretty cool. That's the, that's the opening experience. Basically folds out, folds out, and then you can pull it out. I am not going to be able to do this one handed guys. And I just put my finger in the, <laughs> in the front of the lens. Anyway, sorry. I am not a, uh, a vlog style expert by any means. All right, let me get this thing pulled out. All right, guys, there she is. Very similar, actually, to what DJ was showing when he did his unboxing. It's got a see-through. It goes all the way through. It's like a, a clamp style in the middle. Um, so I am going to open this up. And probably... Maybe not. All right, I got to figure out how to open this. <laughs> it's on both sides. It says tear, but why tear it when you can just cut through it? All righty, guys, let me put it back on its side so we can open up and see its glory. Cue sound effect. And there she is. This is definitely quite the unboxing experience. Making sure I don't. That is a beautiful looking card. 
and in no jeopardy of falling out of the box. Alrighty, guys, I think that's going to be about it for this one. Um, I need to do a bunch of things because I got plans for this weekend, so I won't have much time to do uh, much of anything with the farm. But uh, so I'm trying to get, get this into a rig um, by uh, the end of the night tomorrow. May or may not document that, but I'm definitely going to get it in a vast rig sooner rather than later. Alrighty, guys, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it, and you guys all have a great day.